it is on syllogisms a general question i guess four statements and four conclusions so let's draw the basic diagram first for the given statements some numbers are digits some numbers are digits all digits are alphabets all the digits are alphabets no alphabet is a vowel no alphabet is a vowel right and all consonants are vowel all the consonants are vowel please disregard the commonly known facts when you are solving questions from syllogism right don't go and argue with the examiner that how can you say no alphabet is a vowel if he says no alphabet is a vowel no alphabet is a vowel right anything given the statement is considered to be definitely true right statements are never false so that's a basic diagram right basic diagram means minimum overlapping minimum encroachment it's very very important to learn how to draw basic diagram learn that through our videos uh, and and only then you will be able to answer the questions easily so some numbers are digits all digits are alphabets no alphabet is a vowel and all consonants are vowel that's the diagram look at the conclusion now no digit is a vowel no digit is a vowel definitely true because digits are completely encompassed by alphabets digits are completely inside alphabet we know that alphabets cannot touch vowels or vowels cannot touch alphabet if vowels cannot touch alphabet how can a vowel touch something inside the alphabet so no digit is a vowel is true definitely true and i don't even have to check possible diagrams for that because any diagram i draw it will always be the same thing right digits will always be inside alphabet or at at best it can be equal to alphabet it cannot be more than alphabet if it cannot be more than alphabet it, it cannot touch vowels no alphabet is a consonant same argument no alphabet is a consonant alphabet cannot touch vowels if alphabet cannot touch vowel how will alphabet touch consonant so no alphabet is a consonant is always true any diagram you draw it will always be true right so no alphabet is a consonant is also true right no alphabet is a consonant next uh, right we are, we are done with this right second one no alphabet is a consonant next no vowel is a number no vowel is a number now no vowel is a number if you look at the basic diagram yes it it appears to be true no vowel is a number vowel and number do not touch at all vowel and number do not touch at all but remember the classical rule when you are solving questions from syllogs right if a conclusion satisfies the basic diagram does not mean that it is true it has to satisfy all the diagrams in the first two conclusions we have gone logically with that any diagram you draw always digits will be inside alphabet so digit cannot touch vowel any diagram you draw always consonants will be inside vowels so consonants cannot touch alphabet but in this case when he says no vowel is a number why it satisfies the basic diagram no vowel is a number i can draw vowels in a different way right for example for example let me draw a possible diagram for this one right a possible way of drawing vowels is as follows what did he say no alphabet is a vowel right the statement made here is that no alphabet is a vowel so if no alphabet is a vowel right no alphabet is a vowel we can draw vowels in this fashion right no alphabet is a vowel even in this case is no alphabet is a vowel alphabets and vowels are not touching each other this is the basic diagram this is not the basic diagram but this is a possible way of drawing it right this is a possible way of drawing vowels have we gone against the conclusion uh, statements no the statement said no alphabet is a vowel here also no alphabet is a vowel they are not touching each other so look at the conclusion now he says no vowel is a number in this case we have found that vowels and numbers are overlapping with each other right there are some vowels which are numbers there are some vowels which are numbers so no vowel is a number is actually a false conclusion it satisfies the basic diagram but it fails in the possible diagram hence it is false hence it is false now look at this one all vowels are number all vowels are number can all the vowels be number well i mean if you look at the basic diagram all vowels are number i mean just by looking at the basic diagram all vowels are number becomes false forget about the possible diagram now right let me let me explain this to you 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 have to forget about the possible diagram now possibility is out look at it in the basic diagram itself all vowels are number in the basic diagram itself vowels and numbers do not touch at all so how can you say all vowels are number so this conclusion fails in the basic diagram itself hence it is false remember a conclusion which fails in the basic diagram is always false sorry i think i have lost the uh, you know the drawing that we had done there but anyway the conclusion is that second one follows third one does not follow yeah all vowels and number also does not follow because all vowels and number fails in the basic diagram itself vowels and numbers do not overlap at all so how can you say all vowels and number right so first one true second one true third and fourth are false so your answer should be only one and two follow which is option c right only one and two follow only one and two follow clear and remember there is no complementary pair here do not consider no vowel is a number and all vowel numbers all vowels are numbers to be complementary pair i repeat this is 
not a complement repair right don't say either or it cannot be either or right all those who have said that no vowel is a number and all vowels are number should be like either or like one and two follow and either three or four follow this is wrong this is not a complement repair at all there are only two complement repairs no vowel is a number some vowels are numbers that's one complement repair all vowels are number and some vowels are not numbers that's the second complement repair right but this one is not a complement repair so if it is not a complement repair it cannot be considered as either or at all watch the basic video again uh, watch the basic video again to understand this in detail all right so the answer to this question is c only one and two follow on syllogisms as you can see two statements and two conclusions so draw the basic diagram some leaves are plants some leaves are plants some leaves are plants all bushes are plants all the bushes are plants that's the basic diagram right some leaves are plants all the bushes are inside plants right very simple diagram now look at the conclusions at least some leaves are bushes remember like we have discussed multiple times in the past at least some and some are the same this is redundant this is a redundant word here i mean it's of no use right makes no difference at least some leaves are bushes is as good as some leaves are bushes so conclusion one is some leaves are bushes conclusion two some leaves are definitely not bushes again the word definitely is also redundant because conclusions are usually in the definite form unless explicitly specified that it is a possible type of conclusion yeah so strictly speaking the two conclusions that we have are some leaves are bushes and some leaves are not bushes and before we proceed to check if these conclusions are true or false let me also tell you that this is that this is not a complement repair not a complement repair so if you guys are trying to answer that the questions i mean the the answer will be either or you are wrong because some a's are b's and some a's are not b's does not make a complement repair at all so either or is ruled out either one or two is true is the wrong answer it is not a complement repair it is not a complement repair for some leaves are bushes the complementary uh, part is uh no leaves are bushes and for some leaves are not bushes the complementary part is all leaves are bushes okay so either or is anyway ruled out let's check from the conclusions now let's check from the basic diagram first one some leaves are bushes well it fails in the basic diagram itself right some leaves are bushes you see some leaves are bushes it fails in the basic diagram because leaves and bushes do not touch at all no leaf is a bush so some leaves are bushes is wrong conclusion one is false conclusion two some leaves are not bushes well if you look at the basic diagram true some leaves are not bushes we can choose some of these leaves and say yes these leaves are not bushes we can always choose some of the leaves and say these leaves are not bushes but then will it always be true no it will not be true always simple logic is i can draw a diagram in this way a possible diagram for these statements can be taken up as follows some leaves are plants i can represent both leaves and plants in the same circle and all bushes are plants can be also used in the same circle it is a possible diagram same circle same set representing leaves and plants and bushes it's a possible way right some leaves are plants yes i can say some leaves are plants and all bushes are plants all the bushes are plants if i consider this diagram this conclusion fails some leaves are not bushes tell me which leaf is not bush all the leaves are bushes when all the leaves are bushes can you say some leaves are not bushes no so this also is wrong so conclusion one fails in the basic diagram itself Conclusion two clears the basic diagram but fails in the possible diagram. Hence, your answer should be neither one nor two follows. Neither one nor two follows, or none follows. None of these follows. All right. Be very careful. This is not a complement repair. Don't mark the answer as either one or two because these is some leaves are bushes and here it is some leaves are not bushes. It's not a complement repair. Right. Answer is neither one nor two follows. Okay.